what's the weirdest thing that's happened to you during a surgery weirdest <laughs> no nothing weird you can't uh, you can't have anything weird happening when you're dealing with the brain there's no scope for error there you know so nothing really weird could happen but the weirdest thing i have ever done okay and that's on record it's published is i've removed the largest amount of worms from the brain and that's so big you know my hand i don't know if you can hear this much so it's published in a scientific paper worms you know worms okay the worms collected and formed cysts and there was a person whose half the skull was full of worms and he had to go in and take out this big uh, i'd love to share those pictures with you sami you see it and you get blown <laughs> like this was in the brain <laughs> you know and the guys are alive and doing well you know so i have on record the largest the largest collection of worm cysts removed in the world you know is done by me what did that guy do to get those worms <laughs> up there this is you know these are worms which come you know from uh, the food you eat the water you know worms come into your intestine sometimes they reach the brain and when they reach the brain they they form cysts and then you have to remove it so this was like a really large collection so that was the weirdest thing i've ever done because you know you can you imagine what it's like you open the skull and you have literally literally your palm full one half palm full this this collection of uh, worms which you take out That's weird, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's published in a paper as well, so I've published that as a scientific paper. I think you answered that question well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. Uh, is this the reason you're supposed to get dewormed once a year? That's what they say, right? Like I remember this from biology textbooks. Yes, like, yes everyone yes, should take a deworming. Everyone pill. should take a deworming once a year. But if it's made its way to your brain, does the deworming still hit the worm no, inside does, your you skull? Know, Well, if you deworm, the worms won't get to the brain, so it's a preventive thing. Okay, and everyone probably has worms. Oh, obviously, if you, if you live in the city, all of us will have worms. Yeah, you know. Really? Yeah. So it's just a healthy thing to get dewormed once a year. I would say. So. I would think Damn. So. <laughs> okay. How did you realize before the CT scan of the same person hmm. that it's likely a clump of worms? Like, was he behaving strange or? No, it was he was no. He came with symptoms of headache and you know a whole lot of raised pressure things. But the worms had broken through the skull actually. So the 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 thing was so large that the skull had broken open, and so he had come with this weird swelling. Uh, you know, so we suspected, but we didn't know till we did the scan. You yeah. suspected worms. Yeah, because it it did fit. It, it, it it's just the picture. It was weird, you know, and and there was a history in the past and all of that. How does it feel for the first time when you open up a skull and then start oh, operating yeah, it's great. It's, it's, on that it's, pink it's, tissue? It is, it is, it is an awesome. It's even today after all these years, it's overwhelming. You know, it's uh, it it feels very special that you know you get an opportunity to actually get up front and close with the most sensitive, the most powerful, and the most mysterious creation on the planet. There is nothing more fascinating on the planet than the human brain. and to have the privilege to be able to do things with it uh it's a blessing do things with it oh yeah you do things with it you operate if there's a tumor you remove it if there's a blood clot you remove it you know uh in kids who have uh, you know autism and cerebral palsy and people who are paralyzed i do this thing called stem cell therapy or cell therapy so it's you know being able to modulate the brain and the mind that's fascinating it's it's something no matter how much you do you sort of uh, never get over it it's it's exciting it's thrilling every day is a new day okay um i have some very raw stupid questions probably how do you no break open a, <laughs> how do you break open a skull oh so that's that's not very difficult what you do is you uh, make holes in the skull so when i started doing neurosurgery it was mechanical we had a drill you know we used to go around you know <laughs> drill 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 now everything is of course uh, electro they are electric drills so you make holes you know make hole one hole two hole three hole four and then there's electric saw where you connect the holes and the skull opens like a flap just flip it open wow like you're making a door in the skull yeah exactly you're making a door in the skull yeah okay so you choose a position uh, oh depending on where you want to go you know if it's a tumor you're doing if the tumor is in the front of the brain on the right side then you open the door above that so on and so forth so you have to open the door exactly where you want to work 